We're going to talk a little bit about the beginning of the preparation for your uh, growing bag system. Now if you have a well-drained raised area and it's uh, just dirt or it's just grass, uh, we can go ahead and, and uh, start with uh, the, the fabric right over the top of that. In this particular circumstance, we needed to raise it a little bit. It's in a low area and uh, an area where water would, would set and way below what the level of the sidewalk would be. So in order to level an area and bring it up uh, out of, out of a potentially a wet root area, we've added an ABC. An ABC is the same material that they use for building road beds and also the pads uh, for, for concrete slabs. Um, you can get the ABC at your local sand and gravel uh, company, sand and gravel pit, they may call it in your area. In addition to that, uh, we're going to finish it off what's called a bedding sand. Uh, some places this is also called shading sand. This is the same sand that we use in our grow bags. What's important about this sand is that, that it uh, only be washed once, so it has just a little bit of clay material in it, a little less than uh, 20%, and that it also has a six to eight aggregate size of aggregate in it. So it's a well-drained, uh, sandy loam once we're through uh, developing it. But we'll use that as a topping on top of the ABC. The reason we're putting that on the ABC is you'll see the ABC consists of sand and different sizes of rock. Uh, we don't want that rock uh, puncturing or wearing on the uh, fabric that we're going to put down over the top of it. So what we'll do is we'll rake out this sand so that we have about an inch, uh, inch and a half over the top of that rock so that kind of cushions, uh, cushions the fabric so that we don't have any puncture or wear marks in it. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to uh, rake this sand all out now so that we have about an inch and a half over the top of the rock and then uh, it'll be ready to put the uh, weed barrier fabric down over the top of it. So we'll get busy uh, raking it now and then uh, we'll go to the fabric lane. As you can see we've uh, finished leveling out all the sand as the cushion underneath the uh, fabric uh, so that we don't have any of the gravel uh, wearing through or punching uh, the fabric. This is a heavy commercial grade fabric that uh, prevents the weeds from coming up through uh, due to moisture. So it's a weed barrier. Uh, we've laid down the first piece of the weed barrier and uh, we'll complete this with another piece that covers this entire area and then we'll pin it down with uh, six inch uh, weed barrier staples. From there, uh, we'll then go to uh, laying out the uh, beds and the sandbags in the beds. Hi, well here we are. You should have uh, all of your your base down, the layer of sand, the bedding sand, your weed barrier, which is down. And now you want to get your bucket kit, the Garden Master's Bucket Garden Kit. And uh, everything that you need, of course, is inside this. You're going to begin with taking out all of these four screws and then you're going to pull the top bucket out and that's what we're going to use to uh, shape the, the bags of sand to prepare them for a setup. So we'll put this aside. You'll pull your top bucket off now. And that top bucket, as you'll see, has a milled uh, bottom in it. The bottom's been taken out. And we're going to use that to shape the uh, bags. Take one of your bags and you'll notice that these are on the bottom. There's a pleat across the, the end so it's a rectangular shape. Keep that in mind as we proceed. We'll take this and we want to have that pleat in line with where the handle of the bucket enters the bucket on the side. So we'll pull this in. I'm going to pull that down nice and snug so that here's the pleat running across the bucket. That pleat line runs down to the bucket handle. Now on this this particular bed, this scenario, we're putting together and laying out a freestanding um, bucket garden. So we're going to 
lay these out with the pleat in the bottom of the bag running parallel to the width of the bed. We're going to set the first one in this particular scenario about uh, five inches back from the border and we're going to put it uh, about six inches from the end of this uh, greenhouse frame. Now we'll fill this sand, fill this bucket with sand. You want to hang on to it so it doesn't uh, tip over. We're going to firmly grab with pressure on the side of the bucket holding the bag and you're going to bring it up to stretch the bag and then pull it out. Shake off the sand. You got any little bit of debris that's been picked up, take that out. Now we're going to shape that bag a little bit because we want it in somewhat of a rectangular shape like the bag was made. There's our first one. Now we'll get our second one ready, just to give you an idea. Very important that when you lay these out, the bags are as perfectly vertical as possible. Straight up, the slack pulled out of the bag. And that your first row is even with your uh, plane that you're putting it against, so that the rest of the bed then uh, stays even also. We'll grab another bag. Slip it down the same way. Make sure that that excess pl plastic is against the top. Again, here's the pleat. We're running this particular installation parallel with the width of the bed. We set it in place up against the other bag, and then we dump in the sand. Now your bucket you're dumping the sand with is the other half of your kit. It will be your, the bucket that you fill up and you'll always fill it up just below the ring here. I don't know if you can see that. You'll see a, a ring here which is at the same level as where the, the handle comes in. That's the level of the sand you want to fill. It, it's just about right uh, for filling the bucket, the bag to the correct level. Okay, back to this bucket now. We're going to hold the bag so we get that sand the bag stretched. Grab our edges, snug them up. Now just to uh, review, the sand that we're using, we call a bedding sand. And you can get the analysis for that mix on uh, www.thegardenmaster.com and you can print that PDF file which, will, which you then can give uh, to your local uh, sand and gravel pit or supplier and uh, they'll read that and they'll know exactly what mix that you need. Now what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and finish this. Uh, this is going to be a 4 by 8 freestanding bucket garden uh, kit and then we'll proceed in putting together the, the uh, drip irrigation uh, over the bed uh, so that you uh, know how to do that also. Uh, that'll be our next, uh, our next chore. Well, here we are with the uh, bucket garden. Uh, it's a four by eight freestanding bucket garden, uh, totally complete. All the bags are laid out now with the uh, bedding sand. And what we're going to do now is uh, proceed with putting in the irrigation system. Now we've, we've already come here with the main supply line. We have a T in it with, a, with an end off the end of it and a cap. But that's just for flushing the line if ever necessary. The reason we have a valve here is that we have uh, four different beds on the same line. This way we're able to even out the flow between all four beds. But you would come up without that generally. And then uh, you would put an elbow on. The elbow should come into the center about four to five inches below the edge of the bag, as you can see here. Now we're going to 
show you how to uh, measure out and mark the uh, irrigation line for the spray stakes. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to put this in, measure it right there. He's going to measure one hand width past the end and cut it. And then as he, as he finishes that, uh, we'll get ready here to mark these so that uh, you know where to punch the holes for the spaghetti line we'll be putting in. Okay, so what we'll do here is we're going to pull this back so it holds it. And uh, if you could just hold on to it out there with the blue line up, have your blue line up. Uh, this particular line is a tri-wall, and this comes in your kit. Everything that you've seen uh, so far is in your uh, Garden Master uh, Bucket Garden Kit. The elbow, the tees, the caps are all in there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to mark where the center of each of our spray stake uh, will come out. The first mark will be behind the first bag. And then you go to the next, and I'm putting a mark right where the center of the outside edges of the bags are. And the reason that I'm doing this instead of pre-measuring it is that oftentimes it won't necessarily always be the same. And we want to keep these uh, drip lines coming right out of this open space that's between the four corners of the bag. Mark each one, and then remember you're marking past the bag, so your last one obviously is going to be uh, past the bag. <laughs> 